Hello, it's Angela and I'm back again to share another make with you using the new Angela Poole um, brand new Christmas collection. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I quite like little boxes, exploding boxes, gift boxes. So uh, this time I've created a box to pop a little bauble in. Um, the bauble has been created using the slot and spin festive frames die set. And uh, the little box is a bit like an exploding box, the outer section. And I use the uh, new Twinkling Mist A4 paper pad from Angela Poole. And I cut it um, to create the sides separately and around a little base and a lid. And the sections here have been used uh, with the stencils, which are Winter Frost and Frozen Lace. They both have um, snowflake designs on, so um, you can use either or, or you can use both like I have done here. Um, I used a glimmer paste through there. I think, I can't remember if it's Moonstone, something like that. It's, it's quite a nice iridescent one, uh, like a holographic uh, white colour. So I've done the sides around here and I've also stamped using the Winter Snuggle stamp set, the little snowflakes in gold and also the border in like a coral red and uh, done that all the way around the sides and also on the box lid. Um, on the top here I've used one of the sentiments on the Winter Snuggle set. These are designed to fit the um, frame dies however they're also a nice uh, to be used on their own and this one says, let's see they love at Christmas, so it's perfect for a gift box. And uh, I've used some more of the snowflakes stamped in gold. Um, let's see. Whoops. Pop this down here, and you can see what I've got inside. Well, you can in a moment. I'm holding on to both sections. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, trying to do it one-handed. Right, okay, so that's the box, and inside we have this bauble. Um, the bauble has been created using the uh, Slot and Spin Festive Frame dies. I've cut it four times from the Twinkling Mist card, which is quite a good GSM. It's 300 GSM, I believe. And I simply cut the shape of a bauble, scored it directly in half. You can match up the little slot lines there to get the, uh, the correct Mark II score. So I cut four, scored them, and uh, I did them together using some clear drying glue. I like Cosmic Shimmer because it, it does dry clear and uh, it's quite a quick grab on it as well. The centre section, I just cut two of the snowflake um, spinning elements and that's from Glitter Card in white, but the Glitter Card is double-sided so I only need to cut it twice and add some little uh, gold drops to the centre and just bend it a little bit to add a little bit extra dimension. And the top of the bauble has been uh, covered using the handy die that comes in the set also, the little bauble cap. And I've used some self-adhesive glitter um, paper for that, which I think is a trim craft. It could be Dove Craft, or, I think it's Dove Craft or First Edition or Simply Creative. I'm not sure, it's one of the trim craft brands. So inside the box I've, I've stamped it to match the outside. And also in here I've stamped some of the flourishes in gold and some of the uh, snowflakes in gold, more glitter paste, um, some of the larger snowflakes have been included in that. So it's quite a simple um, box design, um, basically four pieces of card, scored, trimmed to create a little flat around a, a small um, square. I will add measurements to a blog or something later so that um, you can see exactly if you want to make one exactly the same. So it's a nice gift box for gifting you the little bauble in. Now the bauble is at the moment attached to the lid. However, it's on a beaded chain and it's only tied on with a bit of ribbon through the top. So simply pull open the ribbon and your bauble comes out and you can pop it on the tree. I just thought it was a fun way to add a little gift and you could also pop a little mini card in there or add some extra layers to your exploding box make a bigger one add some more panels that come down but for this one i thought i'd keep it simple and keep the uh, focus on the bauble itself right so I'm trying to do this now at this angle okay uh, so there it is simple but fun right hope you like that thanks for looking bye bye